Ross Elman here with an encouraging word for you today for my devotional, TGIF Today, God is First. Today's message is entitled, Obedience-Based Decisions Versus Skill and Ability. First Chronicles 14.15 says, As soon as you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the balsam trees, move out to battle. The Philistines were attacking. David wanted to know how to respond. His first inquiry of God revealed that he was to attack the Philistines straight away, and God would give him victory. David followed God's instruction and gained victory. Shortly after that, the Philistines mounted another attack. So David inquired of God again, and God answered him, Do not go straight up, but circle around them and attack them in front of the balsam trees. First Chronicles 14.14 14. David was a well-trained warrior, a strategist, Yet we find that David's dependence on God to direct his efforts was very great. In fact, after he won the first battle, he went right back to inquire again. This is the most important lesson we can learn from this story. God told David to attack, but only after he heard the marching in the balsam trees. How many times have you or I operated in the workplace based on only our skill and ability without seeking to know the details of God's will in the matter? David could have simply assumed that since he had won the last battle, surely God would give him victory the same way. No, David had learned that communicating with the living God is the only sure way of victory. His skill was not enough. He had to have God's blessing. How many times have we worked in our work life the same way each time only because it was the way we did it last time? What if God has a better way? What if God has a different plan than ours? So David inquired of God. These are the important words that we are to learn from. We must be in such relationship with God that we are constantly inquiring of his mind on every matter. When we do this, we can expect the same results that David achieved, success in our endeavor and recognition by God. So David's fame spread throughout every land and the Lord made all the nations fear him. It says in 1 Chronicles 14, 17, This is the reward of obedience to God. We don't have to build a name for ourselves. God will see to it that we are honored for our obedience. He wants to make known those servants who are willing to obey him at all cost. You know, there's always a tension between using our skill and ability versus depending on God to guide us and direct us. And there's, a, there's always a combination of that that's required. And so I want to pray for you today that you understand that balance of being able to hear God and being led by God, but also use the talents and gifts that he's already put inside of you. Heavenly Father, we come to you today and ask for Uh, understanding that balance between skill and ability and being led by the supernatural power of God and your Holy Spirit. And we ask you, Father, to give us greater sensitivity to know that balance. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day. God bless.